people, people, people. So, Chef Landini is in the Bildini. Marion. So, he is gonna do some fish and chips, some vinegar, vinegar, vinegar. Fish, we have the chips. Vinegar, pepper, pepper, pepper mm. pot. We got it now? Yeah. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Oops. What we have here today is called trout, and uh, not to be confused with salmon. Uh, they're very close in, um, in similarity. But the recipe, as I promised earlier, I'm going to do one of my uh, recipes, original recipe. Um, this is going to be honey garlic encrusted trout. Okay. Now here we have fillet of trout. Let me show the audience. So what you do is to add. Vinegar just to kill some of the impurities, if any. No name brand. <laughs> right. All right. Now, my methods are, are a little different. I don't like to touch the food that I'm cooking. So what you do is to scoop, vinegar, and pour. Scoop and pour. You scoop and you pour, okay? Scoop and you pour it over it. Works just as efficiently as um, if you would do it another way, okay? And then what I like to do, listen, there's gonna be some there's gonna be some proper nuggets here guys. Right. So what we're gonna do is to um, rinse this off. Um, use some hot water. What we're gonna do is to hold the fish like so and put <laughs> Drain that off, all right? So what we're gonna do now, this is the nugget, you know. I have turned the pipe to very hot water. I'm gonna rinse it off with the hot water. Now what that does is to open the pores of the fish, all right? For both the vinegar to get in and for the seasonings and the sauces and whatever I'm gonna use on it to get into it and marinate it much quicker. You can do that with your meat and uh, with chicken as well. Okay, so poultry and meat and fish. All right, so we drain it as much as possible there. And then we get to, to one of my favorite parts. Now what I'm gonna do, I have pre-arranged um, for uh, the seasonings to be in order here. So what we're gonna use first is salt. Everything is labeled by the way. Anyway, this is kosher salt, sea salt. You can just focus on the fish from here. And give it a nice. Because one of the secrets to um to good meat, fish, and poultry is salt. And uh, we're gonna get some um, black pepper. Not too much of this one, but just to amplify the, the flavor of the salt and the fish itself. Then we're gonna go to garlic salt. As I said before, it's garlic, um, honey garlic trout. So this is where the, the, the garlic flavor comes in. Also have roasted garlic puree. Now because I use the garlic salt already, I don't wanna use much of this. I'm gonna overpower it with too much garlic, okay? Just put that little dab there on the edge of your, your knife. And you put it on like so. Okay. Now I just simply remember I don't touch the meat. You know? So I just rub it up with the, with the, with the knife like this. Remember the simple recipes. We use not a quarantine time. Okay, guys. You, you want, want me to touch it? No. Me a cook. <laughs> it's me a cook. So we get to the edges with the puree, evenly distributed as much as possible, all right? And so, next week we give it a little herb. So we have the little Italian herb here. And we're using the sprinkle, not the pour, okay? And the key, the key is to just to try to cover as much of the surface here as possible without overpouring. Because the thing with trout and, and salmon and these fish is that you don't want to take away the um, 
the taste or the flavor of the fish itself. You don't want to compromise that. Now we're going to give it a little heat. So we have a little paprika, a little spice, I should say. Again, not too much, okay? And then we go for the chili powder, chili powder. Again, not too much, just enough to create a, a crust. And then give it a little bit more heat with chili flakes. Again, we're not overpowering it, and you're using the sprinkle, not the pour. previous video that um, talked about this. This is the red hot um, seasoning from France. It's a general purpose seasoning and it's very good. It has an assortment of um, flavors mainly from peppers and so on. Um, it has garlic in it as, as, as well. Red peppers, vinegar, salt etc. So again sprinkle not pour. And this is the secret ingredient to the salmon. Okay. Now, when that is done, we for the final part of the salt. I know it, it looks like I'm using a lot of salt, but I'm really I'm not using a lot. Um, the final um, ingredient is the Himalayan uh, pink salt. Available at your local Dollarama and Dollar Tree stores. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's about three dollars. That's a grinder on top. And the Himalayan salt is very good. Very, very good. I get to understand that it's low in sodium content and it is high in flavor. Okay? Now, Next we have, we don't have to put oil on it because the trout um, produces a lot of oil, a lot of fish oil. However, for the sake of this um, video, I'm giving you the premium version of the recipe, you understand? So here we have cold pressed extra virgin olive oil, AKA EVOO, okay? So this one comes with a spout on top and what we do, is drizzle the fish with, with it, just like that. What that does is it's going to um, bring all of the, it's gonna cause the, um, the, 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 the seasonings to stick to the fish and create perfect atmosphere for the crust. You understand? So notice we didn't use any flour or anything like that. It's gonna be a natural crust. But the oil causes a lot of viscosity, you understand? All right, so, I can pose that to that. Mm. Now you preheat. We're gonna we're gonna um it's gonna be baked, not fried. So we're gonna utilize the natural oils and cold pressed oils. So you preheat to 425 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, the stove oil, very old. Parchment paper. So we use parchment paper as opposed to aluminium uh, foil paper because we don't want the heavy metals in our in our dish. As I said, it's a healthy dish. Okay. So while we preheat the oven, uh, you let it preheat for like four or five minutes uh, just to get that uh, that heat right. So what we do now. No worries guys, this thing clean, disinfected and uh, all right, so what we do now, again, remember, we don't touch these things. We can cook, just wash your hands and head out. Nothing sticks to us, okay? 
me use my hand and talk for yourself. So what we do now is to transfer this beautiful fillet to the like so. Now you want to ensure that you don't have too much paper on the edges. It's okay. It's okay. You cut along the crease like here. Come on, show the bit. You understand? Meat. Meat, what's up? Meat. I know some of you are watching this and like, Lando, you know you should open a restaurant. I know. <laughs> Don't worry, <yourself. laughs> Don't worry, yourself, people. If time should last, it is coming. You know where yourself. Come on, big up yourself, you. Yeah. All right, now the, the oven is ready. So what we're gonna do now? Mm -mm. So you put it on the top shelf. You understand? No, come on, make it away. So if you notice, there's heat at the bottom and heat at the top. The reason why I put it at the bottom is because I want the crust. The top, sorry, is because I want the crust to be made, but I don't want the bottom part of the of the fish to be crusted. All right, so you put it at the top so that you can get the crust going. And it can be properly crusted, okay? Because remember, we didn't coat it. All right, so we check. You do this for a half hour. So you let that set for a half hour. You set a timer or something, or you watch the clock. You know, we, we chefs, exec chefs, we are used to this thing. Though, so we don't really use timer, but for the sake of perfect shot, we want to ensure that we don't overcook uh, the fish because it is cooked pretty easily, okay? So, the time is now um, uh, three minutes to, to four. We'll check back at half hour time. Uh, we're not like some of those cooking shows where I show you the aftermath. We show you how we all uh, struggle for lack of the oven and everything. Anyway, so, boom, as you can see, <coughs> still hot. It's muy caliente, no? Finished products. Still bubbling. Have the liquid with oil and everything. Huh? Bubble like soup. You can smell the garlic and the um and the olive oil. Mm -hmm. So you may be saying, some of the things send it say honey garlic. <laughs> I know. So here we have authentic Jamaican honey. Ray and Neville. Straight from the Queen Bee. So, and the, and the authentic Jamaican rub back, yeah, right? <laughs> So you know where you come from, yeah. Alright. So we do the sabum now. And we juice it while it's hot. With the honey. You understand what I'm saying? So you go horizontal. And you go vertical. Like you want. So that way and then that way there. And then you go diagonal. And then you go diagonal that way. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> And then it's a bam. So you let it sit. It's gonna seep into the pores of the of the trout. And then we'll show you the sampling afterwards. I don't want to eat it myself. You understand? I'll let the need taste it and she will tell you the truth about how it turned out, how it tastes, consistency, stuff like that. You understand? Anyways, this is cooking with Lando. Big up on yourself. There'll be more recipes. Um to come, you know, um, like chickpea, stuff like that, like canned food, like well, now is the time for can, canned food, so we're going to do some canned food recipes, uh, quick and easy for the kids, you know, when they're at home, when they, if and when they go back to work, they can do it themselves, you understand? Take it easy guys, night them. Out. Alright, so. I'm going to sample Lando's dish. Up here, so Woo, blazing. It's hot, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Move yourself. <laughs> Tastes really good. You know how I know? Oh. Okay, to take a second piece. That's cool, man. No, so it had to do. Uh, but, um, the best thing is to do to let it sit for a while and cool off so you can actually taste the flavors. Cause if it's nice when it's hot, it's any cool, mm -hmm. remember me tell you. Nice. 
Good job, Lando. Big up, big up. High five. Up top. You can share it. Share it. Frame. So, guys, there you have it. Cooking with Lando. Now, I mean, just when Mr. Mega cooks, I'm going to laugh. I said, Well, love. We are thinking, love. Derville. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cook it, remember me tell them. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back to Jamaica and I'm gonna go on a jerk chicken recipe. Remember me tell them. Straight from the grill. Yeah, man. Because there are a few factors you have to add in. You know, all the total secrets. It's nice, sir. Eh? And I have to just wait for the restaurant or the cooking show. You know, it's all good, though. You feel me? Yeah. So thank you for watching. We'll see you in our next video. And don't forget to like, share. Subscribe and comment. Subscribe. Listen to me. You know, I don't need another frame. Let me tell you something. Sub subscribe. Subscribe. It's my life, Alright, bye guys. There you go. <laughs>